Hello everybody, this is BBoss1997 and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'll be showing you how a candle flame reacts to the electric fields generated by a couple different power supplies. Um, so for the first one, we're going to use our trusty 5 kilovolt power supply. I'll light it up first. Okay, so now it's lit, and now we're going to try it. Got a little wax on the electric. Interesting. Now let's move on to a different power supply. Now we'll try the same thing, but this time with the buzz coil. flickers a little bit. Not as severe. Yeah, the effect isn't as severe with the buzz coil. Possibly because of the absence of some of the current that's present when using the other power supply. Now we're going to do a third power supply which isn't commonly seen on this channel, but I use a lot, so it's an it's an oil filled transformer. This particular transformer supplies about a kilovolt at some relatively high current. Um, I like to use it for arc soldering, for melting small pieces of metal because it does get a bit warm. I'll give you an arc. It does get a bit toasty, so let's try it out. Ooh, that's bright. Probably because of the it's reacting with the carbon that's in the flame. That's very bright. Wow. Didn't think it would be that bright. That's amazing. Probably doesn't look bright to you guys because the iris of the camera is is shutting it off, but boy, it is bright in real life. Wow. Reminds me of a carbon arc. Okay, well... I'm glad you enjoyed this video. As always, safety first. And I know this paper in the background looks close, but it really isn't. So, don't try this at home. Just make sure that if you do have paper as a background, it's nice and far away, like mine is. It's actually quite a large piece. Okay, so, I'll see you in the next video. This is BBoss1997, signing off. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.